Farmers, ranchers, and agricultural companies are shaping up to be winners in the current economy as the rise in prices for crops and livestock looks to push farm incomes to their highest level in nearly 50 years. Joining now to weigh in on the outlook for commodities in 2023 is Tucrium Fund's CEO and President Sal Goberti. Um, good to see you, Sal. So obviously it has been a weird year. <laughs> so, I don't really know how else to put it in terms of agriculture because uh, in large part of the war in Ukraine and the effect that that has had on grain prices globally, barring any other events like that, what should we be keying in on for 2023? Well, it's good to see you too, Julie. Good morning. Um, I think keying in, this is the second year in a row where agricultural prices are well above their cost of production. And that's a very rare thing because farmers do respond with production. And so this year in 2023, we should see a return to normalcy or at least getting there, which means grains returning towards their cost of production, wherever that may be. And what, how to do that is our balance sheets are very tight. We've been using more grains globally than we've been producing. Hopefully this year, we will uh, reverse that trend and produce more grains than we use. And that should loosen up the balance sheets and maybe get prices back down to their cost of production. That's dependent on two things. It's dependent upon weather always, and of course, um, geopolitics and, and war. But right now, um, it looks like we should have record uh, crops in South America. So they're, they're in the ground and growing, and that looks pretty good. And we're going to see their, their harvest here begin shortly. Um, and hopefully the northern hemisphere's growing season will be very productive and farmers will respond and, and weather will cooperate and we'll, we'll loosen up our balance sheets on grains. And that's the key towards the end that you also mentioned there, the weather cooperation with all of this. We were just having a discussion separately about the current weather system that's working its way through the U.S., but more broadly, what are we expecting over the course of the next six to nine months and how will that really affect uh, some of these key commodities on the weather pattern front? Well, you've got two problems right now. You've got winter wheat across the North America is really hurt because it doesn't have enough, didn't have enough moisture going into dormancy. So we've got a weak wheat crop coming out of the U.S. And then you've got serious problems of drought in, in Argentina. So their soybean and wheat crops are going to be affected dramatically there. Um, other than that, we should see really good weather in Brazil. That's what we've seen. We should see a record harvest, and the world needs that. And we should see really good European harvests. The Russians have, of course, had two record years in a row of wheat production. They may have a third, depending on what effect the war has. So we, we hopefully, other than the two spots of the U.S. wheat belt and Argentina itself, we should see better weather and better production. So uh, Brad just mentioned the, the weather activity we're starting to see rip across the country. Are there any key moves or any moves you're, you're expecting uh, off a storm like this? Um, only in wheat. Uh, they, they are saying that even though snow is coming, there isn't enough snow on the ground to insulate the wheat from the cold air that's sweeping in. So you could see some legs under wheat, some support there, just because that, you know, the U.S., while we've been declining in our wheat production for the last decade, um, we are still a major wheat supplier to the world. And our crop is in the, uh, the worst or second worst condition since records of being have been kept for the, the winter wheat crop in the ground. Sal, thank you so much, and happy holidays, happy 2023. We will see you, I'm sure, early in the new year. Tukrim Fund CEO and President Sal Goberti, thank you.